How to manifest a specific person. This could be your ex, somebody that you like, a celebrity, whoever or whatever it is. I'm going to give you some processes so that you can manifest what it is you want. So first, the first thing you have to be aware of is are you a vibrational match to who and what it is you want? For example, a lot of people want to manifest their ex back, but they're not a matched, they're not a vibrational match to that which to that which they want. For example, if they were with their ex, they would feel loving and free and and joyful and fulfilled. But instead, they're not with that person and they're focusing on the lack of having that person. So they feel really closed off and in, they're in a negative state. So they're not a match at all to what it is they want. So the first thing that, or an easy way, I should say, to be a vibrational match to what it is you want is to visualize and feel as if you're with that person now. What would it feel like if you were, let's say it's a celebrity that you want to meet, if you were shaking that person's hand, or if it's your ex, what would it feel like if you two were embracing and things were great? Or what I, another way or another, another method that I like to use is I just think of what do I appreciate about this person? And I, I imagine this person in front of me and I imagine that I'm sending light and love from me to this person and I tell them how much I love them. Thoughts are things. They're an electro manifestation of the brain. Within your brain cells are electrons. Some people would say billions of electrons. And when you think a thought, it causes those electrons to vibrate and they go out and land on people who will bring to you what it is you want. So as you start to think these images of love and these feelings of love, those brain cells will start to vibrate and they'll go out and land on people who will bring to you what it is you want. Also, you have your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. As you start to see these images and feel these feelings of what it is you want, this idea, this image of you being with this with this, you know, your ideal person, your specific person gets impressed upon your subconscious and your subconscious being infinitely intelligent, all powerful and all knowing, excuse me, infinitely intelligent, everywhere present and all powerful. It knows how to connect you with this person. It'll, it'll devise the means, so to speak, to bring this person to you in the most harmonious way possible, assuming that this is best and right for you two to be together. So the first thing is be a vibrational match to what it is you want. And I want to say, as you do this exercise, or as you do these exercises, circumstances don't matter. So whatever took place in the past is irrelevant. For example, I was dating a woman, and we had stopped talking, and we hadn't spoken, I believe, in 18 days. So it had been 18 days since we had spoken, and I wanted to contact her again. I didn't like how we how things had been left off with her. So I closed my eyes, I took a few deep breaths to relax my body, I counted down from 10 to 1 to relax my mind. And from that deep place of connectivity, I imagined her in front of me and I saw myself sending light and love from my heart chakra to her. I pictured her bright, filled with love, doing her best. I told her how much I loved her and appreciated her. And then I, I opened my eyes and came out of the session. What happened? Within five minutes, she texted me. <laughs> so... I hadn't spoken to her in 18 days. Within five minutes, I ended up getting a message or a response from her. Now, why did I count myself down and take the few deep breaths? The reason being is your you have your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And between the two of them is a barrier so that every idea a person gives you or every idea that you think doesn't go straight into your subconscious and manifest in your life. But when you relax your body and you relax your mind by counting down, excuse me, by taking a few deep breaths and counting down from 10 to 1, your brain will go from beta, this awake state of consciousness, to alpha, that deeper state of consciousness that takes place when you're in meditation. And the trap door to your subconscious will begin to open. And this is a great way to impress ideas, ideas and images of what it is you want on your subconscious. And again, it being infinitely intelligent, infinitely powerful, everywhere present, it will. It knows exactly how to bring to you what it is you want. So this is an easy way to program yourself for success. Now, another method that you can use is if you have a hard time visualizing, cut out a picture or take a screenshot of who it is that you want to see and then see them and visualize that you, you're, you two are together now or just see the person, look at the picture and feel as if you're with that person. I, When I was younger... I put up these two famous playmates on, uh, I used to have it's a vision statement. 
it's similar to a vision board, but it's a PowerPoint slide where I would set a timer and every 30 seconds a new slide would show up and there would be an affirmation attached to the slide. So for instance, a picture of my ideal body would show up and it would say, I'm healthy, I'm strong and alive at 165. And then the next image would be some beautiful women and it'd say, my dating life is the best. So I had up uh, these two gorgeous playmates and I, I have them on my vision statement. And by the way, I hold the image for at least 30 seconds. The reason being is, there's, actually it's two reasons. One, it takes on average 33 and a third seconds for an idea to go from your conscious mind into your subconscious. What most people are, are doing wrong when it comes to manifesting is they're not holding a thought long enough. They're thinking one thought, then they're thinking another. They're thinking one thought, then they're thinking another. They're not getting anywhere. It's like if I want to get to Arizona and I start walking there, then I turn around and head back to San Diego, then I go back to Arizona, then I turn, I'm not going to get anywhere. So you have to hold this idea long enough, and on average it takes about 33 and a third seconds so that this idea gets in your subconscious. That number, by the way, I, I got it from two separate people. One, Esther Hicks says that it takes on average 33 and a third seconds for a thought that's focused upon to become part of your belief system. And two, Dr. Thurman Fleet, one of my favorite spiritual teachers, he did thousands of hypnotic demonstrations with a variety of patients, and he saw through thousands of experiments that it took on average an idea that was concentrated on 33 and a third seconds to go from the patient's conscious mind into their subconscious. So give yourself a minute or two of focusing and really feeling what it is you want so it gets impressed on your subconscious. The more feeling that your image has, what it is you're showing yourself, the faster it gets impressed on your subconscious and the quicker it'll show up in your life. Also, this brings me to my next point. I wanna talk about amplitude. The more feeling that you put into this, the stronger your, your brain cells will vibrate and the, the stronger your vibration will be that will go out and affect your reality and cause things to change. So you want to have a strong amplitude to so hold the, these feelings of love and of joy and of connectivity for at least 33 and a third seconds. Oh yeah, back to my vision board. So I had these two playmates up and I would tell myself my dating life is the best and I would celebrate it because that's how I would feel if I got to spend time with these gorgeous women. And I ended up getting a call from their agents, ironically. I used to have a big MMA site back in the day and I used to have a featured woman of the month and I would feature these beautiful women and I didn't know that the women I had been featuring were all represented by this one agent. And so he contacted me and said, hey, I appreciate you getting my models, all this free publicity. And he said, by the way, I'm gonna be at this nightclub this Saturday in case you wanna come. I'm gonna have, and it was the two playmates with him. So your subconscious has infinite ways. And your subconscious, by the way, it has access to all of time and space. It knows exactly how to bring you what it is you want. So it can set things up for you before you're, you're even consciously aware that you're gonna need it, as crazy as that sounds. Now, sometimes people do this imaging for who it is, uh, for who they want, for example, it could be their ex, and then they reach out right away to see if, if it worked. If you're gonna reach out, wait until you feel inspired to take some action. If it's coming from a place of fear, then you're coming from a place of scarcity, of lack, and you're not a match to what it is you want. So wait until you're in a high vibration, till you feel that inspiration, if you're meant to reach out, and then do so. And if not, trust in the process. You've put forth the vibration, and you're gonna attract somebody that matches up with it. Whether it's that specific person or somebody just as great, your job is to just stay in that feeling tone, have positive expectancy once you've done this work, and watch who shows up.